Welcome to the very first episode of Diary of a Ghost Hunter for 2024. What happened to us at the end of 2023? Where did we go? Where did we disappear to? Find out that plus our upcoming UK trip and the Ireland trip and our goals for 2024. Stay tuned for all of that and probably more. Welcome to the Diary of a Ghost Hunter podcast with your frightfully good hosts and paranormal investigators, Anne and Renata. Join the chaos weekly as we tell you what has inspired us, what cases we're investigating, what is driving us round the twist, and the true horror of what goes on in the background of being a ghost hunter. This is a Frightfully Good production. Welcome everyone to the first Diary of a Ghost Hunter for 2024. One of many, one of many that we're going to do this year for you because we know you like them. Apparently. Mm, (laughs) We've had uh, 20,000 downloads of the Diary of a Ghost Hunter episodes, which is amazing. Crazy. Yeah. Everyone wants to know the dirt. That's the thing. And we, the dirty we side dish of it? it. We dish it. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, and that gets us to uh, our very first topic for this year. And that's what the hell happened to us <laughs> at the end of 2023. We had a rough patch. and <laughs> You look, could call it that. <laughs> I have to say, uh, we do um, not take enough uh, credit, if I could say that, and that's a bad way of saying it, to the fact that you went through something very, very painful at the end of last year. You I lost did. your dad. Yeah, in August. Yep. Yeah. Um, and, yeah, things things were a bit a bit nuts. We had so many things that kind of really went wrong, as well as some of the great things that happened in 2024. We had lots and lots of really horrible... 2023, yeah. 20, yeah, 2023. We had lots and lots of horrible things happen. I ended up keeping get going away with absolutely no money. That's my husband outside rattling things, so just ignore that. Yeah, with no money. My my bank accounts were closed to me. I couldn't get to my bank to... Because she'd forgot to notify the bank that she was going overseas, yeah, make, make, they shut please, down access. Yeah, please don't do that. People. And um, because she was in a foreign country, she couldn't reactivate it. No. It was like I was a pauper. It was horrible. It's all right. We gave you a cracker every now and then. Yeah, you did. <laughs> Threw me a biscuit. I had to give it bio coffees because otherwise our life would have been a misery. Yeah. <laughs> um, look, we had great trips. Uh, but and... we're also quite sick. Yes, we were sick for the first half of the year. Yeah. Both of um, us really unwell. Uh, I ended up basically with walking pneumonia for July and August and refused to go to the doctors because I didn't want to end up being put out of the tour that we were on in um, Germany and Prague. And then, of course, people hated us because we were coughing and hacking, even though what I had, they couldn't get. Yes. We were just run down. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we'd... we'd um, I think we were beyond burnout. Yeah. We, we were burnt out. We kept going. snuffed out. <laughs> we were ash. <laughs> uh, but we kept going. Yes, we kept going. We kept going through a lot of internal difficulties as well so not only were we dealing with the stuff that we were um, having to deal with in our own private lives but um, we also had uh, a whole lot of dysregulation within um, our volunteer group and we had really three huge changes that we went through as the year went on oh not Um, to also to mention the fact that um, because of you urging me, I got diagnosed with ADHD and then I had to start on that medication, which then mucked me around for a bit. And I decided to go on weight loss medication at the same time, which was <laughs> horrendous. So I was just a miserable little sod. Yes. I was losing weight, but I was a miserable little sod. So I came off that and just um, just concentrated on one area, which is not weight loss. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, um, and our team sort of really fractured um, towards the end of the year and uh, we had a a lot of things that were going on for a whole lot of different reasons, but it was really unpleasant and it was really um, soul-destroying for us. Um, It was soul-destroying for me. Uh, I know that you were trying to cope the best that you could with the smallest amount of energy that you had to give to that because you had all this other stuff going on for you. Um, and all all we could do at one point was literally just let it all 
play out and happen because we had nothing left to give and we had no solutions because this was a lot of personal stuff for other people as well. We kind of really saw um, a dark side to many people too. Um, and, and I think we also, um, we hadn't learnt lessons that we had been dealt by the universe before mm -hmm. and we were on this same cycle. Uh, and I think finally our eyes were opened this time around that we realised the mistakes we were making uh, and we were able to deal with it as best we could yeah. uh, instead of just sticking our head in the sand and ignoring it. We are being very particular now uh, instead of just saying, hey, come and be a volunteer. Hey, yeah, if you want to be a volunteer. We've actually got to the stage that we interviewed people last year and we only took a very small selection of those who applied and we feel that we've actually got a really awesome bunch of people yeah. that have come on board who have that fresh enthusiasm. Um, they don't have... Their, their needs align with our needs, which I know that as you are working in a team needs change and sometimes we can't give you what you need from us and it has to come to a parting of the ways if we can't give you what you need and you are giving your time for nothing then you need to say well this is not any good for me anymore and we need to say it's not working for us either thank you so much but um let's let's move our different ways yeah and that's, that's a nice way of putting it. Yeah, it is. But the difficulty with all of that is that you also create these friendships. And, and so everything t starts to be taken as very personal. Um, and it's hard to it's, do a yeah, business mm. when you've got yeah. close friendships involved as well. Because uh, you don't want to hurt people. Yeah. And this is, this is the difficulty because you, you don't want to say anything because you don't want to hurt anyone. But you don't want to take you don't want them to take things personally because it's not personal. It's for the um, well-being of the business. Um, and and so, this is your business. This is your livelihood. It's not it. um, a fun thing to do on the weekend. It is how you pay your bills. Yes. Yes. So uh, it husband, matters. Yeah, my husband doesn't work. Um, so it's me as the breadwinner, and if I don't get things done, then um, we don't eat and pay bills, which ended up what happened. That's what happened 12 months ago. You're on the spam. We got to the point where we weren't putting food on the table and paying bills because of all the frustration and everything that was going on. Um, and and so we tend to shut down a, a little bit as yes. well. Um because we both have ADHD yeah. and that's what happens is that you hit overwhelm, you hit anxiety and you shut down. And we even shut down to some of our team members as well mm -hmm. because we, we couldn't process what was happening to us again. It was so traumatic yeah. and uh, that then spills over onto our personal lives as well. Even I sat down with my husband and had a talk the other day and so we sort of came to the decision that... I had forgotten how to have fun and how to be playful and we even realised from watching our old videos from our trip to Ireland that we just weren't having fun mm. and we needed to rectify that and I'm sure that spills over onto our content and our work that we were doing. Mm. Yes, but 2024, new year, new energy, um, back to some of the things that we really love to do that are our signature things. But we've and... had to cut back on a couple of things that we really love to do as well because we had to put our business heads on. Yeah. And one of those was Spooky Sundays with Newcastle Live. But it isn't completely finishing. There's just going to be a little refresh and a little change of direction. So stay tuned for more information on that one. We're just having a break at the moment. Uh, but Spooky Sunday, thank you for all those people who came on and listened every Sunday for two and a half years. Yes. That's how yeah. long it ran for. And we were still the highest rating show on Newcastle Live. Yep. Just and when you can't get any sponsorship <clears throat> and can't get paid for your work, you have to put your energy into what brings in money. Yeah. And uh, it was a bucket list thing for me to do. Yeah, so me too. It, it was one of those things. And where... we're ever so grateful for the opportunity. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Now, we uh, also have booked in uh, a number of sites, or you have booked in a number of sites for uh, our pre-tour before we do our island tour in 2024 in March um, around St. Patrick's Day. We've booked in a couple of days in England uh, and you have... Uh, 
paid some money for us to do investigations from well, the very day of arrival. <laughs> You want to look? It was we're an opportunity. Arri- we are arriving at six o'clock in the morning in the UK, and she has us down for an all nighter that night. Well, I saved us some money. Oh my god! Because it means we didn't have to get accommodation for that night. Oh no, god. what you can do is uh, one of the locations. It just popped into my mind as I was looking for accommodation for that first night because uh, we had the the following nights organised in Glastonbury. And I thought, where can we go for one night that's it's going to be a bit of fun? And I suddenly thought, hang on, one of the most haunted places in England is now offering go-it-alone nights where you don't have organised tours and things like that. And it was £80 per person. And I thought, mm, well, there's four of us. Mm-hmm. Um, that's probably on the expensive side for what accommodation was. Yeah. But... It's likely that we will fall asleep early, but then we'll wake up about three o'clock in the morning and we will be in a haunted location ready to investigate at three o'clock in the morning. And it's the ancient Ram Inn, (laughs) which we have been to before. We have. So it's not actually somewhere that you can sleep the night, but they told us if we brought sleeping bags and things, we're welcome to have a kip on the bed. We're not going to be bringing a sleeping bag, so we might be laying out all our clothing over the top of us to stay warm because it's going to be very early March and quite chilly. (laughs) Uh, But it's going to be interesting. It's going to be fun. Yeah, and we've got um, two of our Grand Pooh Bars coming with us, but also our team members. We've got Barb and Lisa joining us for this leg. And uh, because Lisa came in at the last minute, we decided that we needed to upgrade the car to a... Tesla Y. Uh, Have a shot, everyone, who those who like to play that game. So, yes, we will be in the nice big Tesla Y to um, enjoy our road trip for the UK for that first week. Now, make sure that you are subscribed to our YouTube channel. And if you can get get in and be a Patreon, you will go and get more content. I'll uh, put the by, links yes. on the YouTube video uh, there. So you'll you're the, watching on YouTube. You'll know you'll where it is. You'll get the saucy <laughs> bits that probably aren't... Um, uh, may not make the cut for the general public <laughs> because we're a little bit too too much. We're a little bit too much. So, um, yeah. We're just right, Renata. Mm. Now. But there's other ones as well. Yes, uh, yes. So we'll be in Glastonbury for a few days. And I have made an inquiry into another location, but I haven't heard back from them because it is the Christmas break. So hopefully I'll hear back early next week. Uh, and that will be for the... I've decided that our second night in the UK can be a night off. So it'll probably be for the third or fourth night. Uh, but then Ooh. after that, we have Ashwell Prison. Yes. That we, we've... Um, just done a podcast yes, on, so you yes. guys will get that in mm-hmm. a few weeks. And on the Saturday night, I found one at Oxford Castle, which also yes. used to be a prison. Ooh. We love our jails, our prisons. So those are organised investigations by uh, uh, companies in England, and we love doing those because we learn so much we from do. them. We do. Uh, and sometimes it's learning what not to do, and other times it's learning new techniques and... Uh, it's also just nice to sit back and not have to yeah. think of what, how to entertain people for that, that segment. Yeah, it's getting into the mind of the people that come along to do a ghost tour as well because mm. we're always on the other side of it. But to actually be within the group of people who are there um, and kind of just getting into their heads about what they want when they go to a ghost tour. Uh, so it's going to be really, really interesting. I'm looking forward to that. And anyone from the UK that's watching this that wants to come and join us, if you can get in on any of those investigations, come and hang out with us for the evening because it'll be a hoot. We've got some people coming already. So uh, you're going to put a link or two to I the... can put some information yeah. down. Well, that will be on YouTube. So it will be in the um, description, the blurb on YouTube where you can find those things. I think one of them's already sold out. But, I mean, put your name on the waiting list. You never know. Absolutely. Absolutely. And, look, we have started the, uh, uh, the year with some goals in mind, mm-hmm. some of the things that we would like to achieve in 2024, um, because it means then we, we can focus on those things and try and, and push those things as uh, really, really important for us. Uh, and one of the things is to travel overseas. Yeah, absolutely. Again. And um, filling those... Uh, tours with people who want to be with us so we have um, we've got two this year yep ireland in march which you can still book to come on please do we would love to have you along Uh, and again a link will go up to mysterious adventures 
uh, we are spending uh, the days prior and just after around St. Patrick's Day. So it is March and there is it's full, totally full with amazing places that we are going to go to. And some of the places you've seen us on our misadventures before. So um, we get to take you in there and we'll escort you around Ireland and we'll be with you the whole 10 days. We'll hold your hand. So <laughs> even if you're coming on your own, if, you've, if you haven't got anyone else to come with, this is a fully escorted tour. Yep. We will be there with you. Uh, so you don't have to worry about sort of, you know, working things out on your own. So please, please, please think about coming along. Um, and then, of course, we have our Salem tour in New October. New England Salem. Yes. So that will be for Halloween. We will be at a uh, uh, some sort of, um, oh, it's a, an event in Salem for Halloween, mm -hmm. if I remember correctly. Or is it Boston. Um, it's on the itinerary. Anyway, look up Mysterious Adventures, New England featuring Salem. I think it's in Salem. It's a dress up. Yeah, we've got to dress up as the 1920s or 1930s yeah. or something. Yeah. Um, yeah, so that's going to be a lot of fun. And my oh, heavens, they've packed a lot into that tour. Oh, God, it's, it's incredible. But you've got to remember that time of the year in America, in that area, costs a bomb. So this one is a few pennies, but... For those who went on the New Orleans one, that most of them have come and booked for it already because they know how awesome it was, and they do have something where you can pay it off as well. Yeah, so absolutely, yep. that's the great thing about mysterious adventures. You can pay off your adventure, yeah, which is great. So, what are our goals for twenty twenty four? Um, it's to try and get a million downloads of True Hornings podcast. That's what we. That's kind of very top, if not top, of our goal. Our goals. Now mm -hmm. we're over seven hundred thousand, so we've got three hundred thousand to try and hit this year. It's it's doable. It's doable. Um, and Go and re-listen to all of them, please. Yes, just, just <laughs> put them on, walk away, <laughs> let them run, and help us reach our goal of a million before the end of the year. That would be awesome. Um, also, it, we're going to try and get some more Patreons yeah. to join us and be that um, fun group of people where we chat to you every week and uh, you get some extra bits and pieces from us and you listen into all of the backstories and about what's going on in our lives and all of that sort of stuff that you kind of share with that inner circle And they get of the people. outtakes. Get the outtakes. There's even an outtake on this one that's going up there. Yeah. <laughs> and it's $10 US. Yeah, a month. A month. Yeah. So that's cheap as chips. And if you'd like to support us, absolutely become a Patreon. Yep, uh, or you can buy us a cup of coffee. Just look up, buy buy me a coffee, Anne and Renata, and you'll find that. And that's a way to do a, um, a one-off thing, if that's what you'd prefer to do. But we'd appreciate any support. But also sharing us our, our work around to other people who you think might enjoy it would be awesome. Yep. Uh, and now we are also going to be looking at doing some more collaborations during 2024. We've already got one lined up in Melbourne, mm -hmm. which we're looking forward to. Uh, and we have some in America that we are going to be doing. And one of our goals is to get Cousin Steve to be able to come away with us. So we are putting our super stickers and those things on YouTube towards getting Steve to come away with us for two weeks. Now, he won't be on the New England Salem one, but we are going to be spending two weeks in America doing a collaboration with some locals over there. Uh, and we want Steve to come and direct us and be able to film it and put it up on YouTube. Because if you haven't watched The Bush Ranger in yet... Go over and watch it. That was under Steve's direction. Part one is up mm -hmm. and part two is coming. And we are um, we're starting to get all our old stuff up as well. Uh, but the style will be changing uh, under our new direction. But we need Steve with us because it's very hard for us to direct ourselves because we don't have the skills to do that yeah, we can be in front of the camera quite happily we're not as good as amy's crypt sorry yeah. <laughs> go and check out amy's crypt they have nailed it those yeah. two have nailed how to do this shit yeah uh, we haven't um, and so. i was really excited i edited something and put it up and i was saying to everyone oh i've done it i've edited something and I, as i said i'm doing it the hard way because i'm editing on canva <laughs> and every person that saw it said it was shit so <laughs> 
thank you so much. Oh. I'm going to take that on board as a learning lesson. Um, that it's not that it was shit. There's just stuff I need to learn. Yeah. But uh, that was the witches of the domain. So check out that video and let me know if you think it was shit too. <laughs> I can only uh, edit the footage you that can, we've got. You can only improve. And I have to say, when I saw myself on there, I've gone, oh, my God, just kill me now. It's you It know, doesn't matter what we look like. I, I mean, know, I've seen these gumps it's... all over my face from COVID and masks yeah. and things from the old footage. And I've gone, I'm, I'm all right. I'm going to rock my gumps. I, I'm going to be honest and proud about it. Now I look at it, all I can see is the gumps on my face. You know when somebody's got a hair hanging down there? And that's all you can do is look at their hair and think I need to fix it. All I yeah. can see is the gumps. Yeah. So yeah. thanks to the CPAP mask and the masks yeah. of COVID. Yeah. So, yeah. But we're being who we are. We just have to be our honest, true selves with a little bit of makeup oh, to look, cover up. Yeah, we can't wait for things to be perfect for us. We have to do this stuff now. Perfection we're, we're is not, boring. But we're not in our 20s anymore. This is this is the last hurrah. You keep <laughs> and saying I, that. I There's say entrepreneurs that in their 80s. I know. And <laughs> I want that to be me. Yes. Um, but, yeah, I'd like a little bit more success by before that. that anyway, happens. my goal <laughs> is to improve our YouTube channel and yep. to get it over the 10,000 uh, subscribers. And it is increasing. It is going up. But YouTube has been doing something really weird where they have been unsubscribing people. Now, uh, I noticed the other day we had like about five to eight people who had supposedly unsubscribed from our channel. Could have because it was such a shit video that I put up. I don't know. Maybe they don't like our Timu videos, but the Timu is bringing in an income for us, mm -hmm. which helps us make more videos. Yep. But uh, some of the big YouTubers have said that for some unknown reason, YouTube is unsubscribing random people. So please go and check that you are subscribed to Anne and Renata, frightfully good ghost grannies, and uh, we would appreciate that subscription. Plus, <clears throat> click the bell so you get notified when we're live. Plus, it's really, really important that you interact with the videos. Even oh, yes. if you leave a message, comments. comments, hearts, emojis, whatever it might be, because that might be another uh, reason YouTube is taking people off, because they're not interacting anymore. Mm. Uh, and so they're making people work harder for uh, the people that come on and subscribe which is, you know, again, it's a business strategy. It's well, they've got to make strategy. money too. That's correct. So if you are a subscriber, take a moment to watch the video and give us uh, some sort of a feedback on it. Even if you do say, that's it's shit. shit. <laughs> <laughs> we'll probably go, yeah, it really was. Mm. Because we're still trying to improve as well. Yep. Yeah. And give you what, what interests you. Yep. All right. Well, I think that brings us that's, to the end. Yep. That's it for today. Yeah. So in a Diary of a Ghost Hunter, we are also going to start interviewing some other ghost hunters. So you don't have to listen to us rattle on every every week. We'll we'll see how we go. It might be every fortnight, uh, alternately to True Haunting. So mm -hmm. at least there's something coming out every week for you. Yep. Uh, thank you for being here. Please share it around. Please, if you are listening on the podcast, please share it with other people. If you are watching on YouTube... Could you write a comment down below yeah, and give it a send thumbs a, up? Send a heart, thumbs up, whatever it and might be. If you be. feel inclined, send us a super sticker yeah. as well. <laughs> Absolutely. Anyway, thank you all. We will see you next time on Diary of a Ghost Hunter. Bye. Bye. Bye.